Thank you so much, Elaine and Kate. Thanks so much for being here. Let's start with the statement that Homeland Security Secretary Kirsten Nielsen released today. I'm going to read part of what she wrote. Approximately 2,000 aliens have arrived in northern Mexico as part of a caravan seeking to cross the border into Texas. Illegal entry will not be tolerated, and we stand ready to prevent it. But, Kate, isn't there something technically wrong with that statement? There is. That statement assumes that all of these people want to illegally cross the border. However, we have people on the ground. I've been speaking to attorneys on the ground there. What these people are looking for is asylum. That is a completely legal form of immigration. The problem is they have to go through a port of entry. You've seen Customs and Border Patrol restrict that entry. But they're looking to do something that is completely illegal under current immigration law. And, Kate, another thing that the the president is very fond of saying about his border wall is that this would prevent the bulk of illegal immigration. It would also curb illegal drug trafficking. You have done some great reporting into both of these things. First off, tell us, how do most undocumented immigrants make it to the U.S.? Most undocumented immigrants, about two-thirds, they enter through valid visas, and then they overstay those visas. A very famous example of that would be 21 Savage over the weekend. A visa overstay was then arrested by ICE. That's two-thirds. So it's not, a wall would have not much of an effect. It would have an effect regard. on those one-third of people, mm -hmm. but the majority, their visa overstays. Right, 